welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Saria. I hope that you'll subscribe to stick around for future Disney content. Today's video is another video of a DIY for my baby's nursery. Um, for those of you who have seen any of the previous videos, I don't really know what order I'm posting these in, so hopefully this is the first one. But in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this really cute string art version of the Snuggly Duckling sign from Rapunzel. My daughter's room is Rapunzel themed, and I got the inspiration to make this because I thought that the sign was really cute. I didn't just want to paint it or make it out of vinyl, I kind of wanted it to have a different textural element. So I decided to, for the first time ever, try out string art. I do think you should watch this tutorial because I show you what mistakes not to make because those are the best tutorials, aren't they? The honest ones. I hope you guys will stick around for future uh, DIY videos, some of them pertaining to the nursery, some of them pertaining to making ears, and some of them just being Disney content, period. I also am planning on doing a total room tour once all of these DIYs are up so that you guys can see how the whole room came together. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so starting off, I got this wood, um, board from Hobby Lobby. It does have some picture hanging hooks on the back, which was one of the biggest selling features, and it has them both for horizontal and vertical. This is the sticker on the back just so you guys can get an idea. I did buy these side pieces to make a frame, but I don't end up using them, so you really don't need them. And then I also got myself these three colors of crochet yarn. And then I also printed out this image of the snuggly duckling sign. So for the nails, I got these carpentry nails. Um, this is what they look like. The biggest thing is that you just want to make sure that they have a really wide head on the base of them because that's what's going to allow you to loop your crochet yarn around it. I got these from Walmart. And you're going to start out by placing your printout onto your board. Now, a little bit of advice. <laughs> Go ahead and tape it down so that it doesn't shift around while you're trying to work. Um, I just used some regular scotch tape and then I'm going to go in and start placing my nails. Um, I'm going to start off with the duck because that is the only part of this that I'm actually going to do the string art for. Now, before you do this, I am warning you now, <laughs> you only want to put in a couple of nails. So you literally just want to do a bare minimum outline around the duck. So put a few inches between each nail because what I did is I put the nails right next to each other. And then when I went to peel up the paper, um, the paper was trapped underneath the nails and I had to go in with tweezers and like pull each little piece out. Shout out to my husband for helping me with that because I needed to work on some other stuff while he helped. <laughs> so yes, make sure that for the first few nails you put in, you're just getting that general outline of the duck and then you can go in and fill in the gaps as you're going. Cause you guys can see right here, I ended up tucking mine really, really tight together. And that ends up causing some problems, which I will show you in a little bit. But I am just going in and making sure that all of my nails are even when I'm hammering them down. Um, they don't need to be perfect. You just want them overall pretty much even with each other and then kind of keep your spacing. I've seen tips on Pinterest and stuff where they use like a hair comb to keep the spacing equal. But with this having such a curved shape, that trick doesn't really apply. So fast forwarding, this is what it looked like when I had done about half of the bottom part and then also the wing. I am going to make sure that I do the little lines on the beak and like the eye, the closed eyelid. And again, jumping forward, just showing you guys this. I didn't want to show me putting in like every single nail because this video would be like 45 minutes long. Um, so just finishing off the top of the duck. And as you guys can see, you're going <laughs> to you're kind of get in a, a gauge for the problem that I had um, getting this paper up. But overall, putting the nails in was not hard. Um, you just kind of have to be patient with it and um, maybe not film it while you're doing it because then you don't have to work around a camera and it goes a lot smoother. Now for the little reeds in the back, I picked this strand of 
I don't know what these are called. I'm going to call them reeds um, from Dollar Tree. And I thought that they were the exact shape and size that I wanted. And I liked that they provided a different texture along with the yarn or the string art on the duck. So I did decide I was just going to glue these down and kind of emulate the sign that way. Again, they're from Dollar Tree and you only need one strand. So I actually am only going to use the yellow color that I picked up of the crochet yarn and the cream color, but I did not end up using the green because I used um, the Dollar Tree reeds instead. So starting off with that yellow, I'm just going to tie it around one of the nails. It really doesn't matter which one. Just make sure that you double knot it so that that one's not going anywhere. Um, if it's easier, you can also create um, your first loop off of the nail and then hook it around and then do your double knot. I hope that makes sense. And then you're just going to snip off the end that you don't need. And this is the pretty easy part. Um, this doesn't take as long as putting the nails in, but basically you're just going to move your yarn around and just cover up the entire thing. Um, I had no method for this. I basically just looped it around until I liked how full it was getting. Um, and with the eye and the wing, I go back later and I'll show you guys how I did those parts. But I did make sure to kind of weave in and out of them to make sure that the entire duck got covered. Now I wanted to cut some of this out just to not bore you guys, but I also really wanted to show you the process. So I'm going to stop talking because I would just be repeating the same thing over and over again. But I am going to leave this footage in to try to be as helpful as I can. And now I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can really see um, the detail work of this. So 
How I decided to do this was just kind of weave it in and out of the nails around the wing and then I do the same thing up at the top on the eyelid or the eyelid, the eye line. <laughs> um, but basically the more times you wrap it around this shape, the more defined it will become and it kind of sticks out a little bit more from the rest of the string art. So I just kind of kept wrapping and wrapping, um, kind of weaving it in and out when necessary. As you guys can see, I do have a couple nails that are a little bit looser than they needed to be. You can always go back in with your hammer and kind of reinforce them a little bit. But it, I mean, honestly, it didn't make a difference with how it turned out in the end. And once you've gotten to your end point, you're just going to loop it around a few times around one of the nails. And then same thing, you're going to double or triple knot it, depending on how paranoid you are. And <laughs> then you can just snip off the excess of your yarn. And now we're to the fun part where you guys get to see my massive mistake. I am leaving this in because I want to remind you guys of what I said earlier. So I got all the, the outside paper off, but the paper that was underneath the duck, literally I had to use tweezers to like reach in between the tiniest gaps that I left and get that paper out. Again, shout out to my husband. Couldn't have done it without him. Now for the beak, I did decide to just fill that in with some cream. Um, same quality of yarn and everything. Um, I did cut that part out because it's just very repetitive. Now for the lettering, I used my Silhouette machine and I actually just cut them out of vinyl. Um, for the coloring, I tried to go the best off of the sign that I could. I did a kind of a cream color for the words Snuggly Duckling. And then I did um, some pink and yellow accents. Now this is not the best vinyl. I'm not going to recommend it to you guys. I'm not going to link it below because it's not very good. It's not very easy to work with. Um, I am just trying to not spend money. So I did make this sign almost a year ago. Um, this video is just coming out very, very late. Sorry guys, but you know, still a helpful tutorial. So um, as far as how I got this lettering, I that printout that I showed you guys earlier, I'm going to link that in the description box below if you guys want to use that exact one. But I just used the trace tool on the Silhouette machine and I was able to trace the words and then cut them out that way. So just use some transfer paper to pull the letters up and then stick them down on your board and just be patient with it um, if you are using not so good of vinyl because you can get it down, you just kind of have to work with it. And then I'm going to move on to these little dot accents that the sign has and then of course the word the. <laughs> And we are almost done. So for the reeds, I just clipped three of them off of that strand that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm literally just adding some hot glue to the top portion of it. And then just patting it down onto the sign. This held up really well. Like you don't need E6000 or anything fancy like that. Hot glue works great. Um, I did bend the bottoms of two of them just to curve them kind of into the sign and make it look whole, if that makes sense. And then the last thing that I decided to do is add a picture frame. So I actually went to Hobby Lobby and it was during their huge 
you know, 70, 80, 90% off sale. And I got a sign there that had a frame around it for like $3. And I was able to pop the frame off really easily. I painted it a cream color and placed it on top and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It was my first time doing string art. I really enjoyed it. I probably will do it in the future for maybe some Christmas decor or something like that. If you guys have any questions or you need any more tips or tricks, always leave comments for me below. I love reading them and responding to you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!